to me, why is not the entire Democratic Party already recognizing that there is something bigger than just talking about securing the borders and sending more border patrol agents or sending the military or a lot of the things that we have done as, you know, uh, within the Democratic Party and uh, in the Trump administration, we are not actually talking about what are the real issues and how we can actually solve them. And to me, it's super important to have these conversations. And perhaps a lot of Democrats are not necessarily—not every Democrat cares about, cares about immigration, but I can say that a lot of people in our community who are supposed to be right now feeling, you know, like they should be going out to vote, whether it's in the Latino community or people of color, we need— people to go out and vote in November of 2020, and that's going to happen if we're actually talking to them about the issues that they care about. And immigration is definitely one of those issues that a lot of people in the Latino community and other communities are, are, are really waiting to hear what's different. And like I said before, that we're not going to have another Democratic president that's going to deport a record number of people. And that, yeah, we are decriminalizing people uh, who are coming into the U.S. because they are coming for a reason. They're fleeing violence and many other um, issues in, in Central America, as Bernie mentioned. And, you know, at the end of the day, we need to have a different strategy because the one that Democrats have used in the past has not worked. I actually was listening also to the debate around, um, you know, uh, trade policies. And, and to me, it's like, how are you not speaking to what are also the push factors? How are you not speaking to what's, why, why is even the reason that we have people coming into the U.S. Uh, from countries that we have done so much in, either because of our trade policies or because we have, you know, been intervening in their government. And so a, a lot of these conversations are not, you know, coming up. And to me, you know, we come, we, we keep going back to, to that same talking points of, uh, you know, we need a path to citizenship and we need to secure the borders. But in reality, there's a lot more to that. President Obama was exactly saying the same things when he was running for president. He came as a Democrat, deported millions and millions and millions of people, and now we're in this situation where that machine that he created was turned into a Trump machine, which is even worse for the, the immigrant community. And to me, it was just really, really shameful to see that none of the actual candidates are saying that. And to me, it's scary because I don't want to have another Democratic president that's going to act like Obama uh, on immigration. To me, this, this uh, frustration that I feel um, that even within the Democratic Party, a lot of a lot of these issues have not evolved, you know, and they're not going to convince our communities. They're not going to convince the people who right now uh, need to be, you know, uh, feeling pushed or not pushed, but uh, motivated to go out and vote. And if we continue to hear the same things from Democrats that we just need to secure the border. Um, it's it's not going to make a difference because we, again, we don't want another President Obama. He didn't do a good job on immigration. He might have done a lot of other really great things for America. Immigration wasn't one of them. And I really hope that tomorrow or today, actually, in the Democratic debate uh, of tonight, that there is a recognition that Obama deported a lot of people, even being Democrat, and that that's not going to happen again in the next administration.